Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Gross, an innovative first-person tower defense game made by Hangry Owl Games. Shout out to Chris, the solo developer, for providing me with a copy of the game for this review. It features an arsenal of 15 weapons, each with multiple ammo types, several weapon attachments, and throwables, along with 22 buildable structures such as machine guns, turrets, landmines, and barricades. Story mode puts you in control of a man on a mission to lead his family to safety during a zombie apocalypse. In each level, your RV is stuck, and waves of zombies and other monstrosities make their way to your position. Before each battle, you'll choose your loadout, and before each wave, you'll have a chance to spend your money and build defenses. Killing zombies will net you more money, but you'll have to be vigilant because not only can explosives damage the money when it's laying on the ground, but certain zombies can steal it and drones patrol overhead like vultures, waiting to vacuum it up too. You can destroy the drones to retrieve your cash, but you'll have to look out for your wanted level. Draw too much attention to yourself, and a police drone armed with missile launchers will be dispatched to your position. Each wave gets increasingly difficult with more zombies and special infected bosses all culminating with one final Goliath at the very end. As a review, the target price for the game is $17.99 US dollars. The whole story took me about six hours to complete, but once the story is done, you'll unlock Endless Mode, which is where you can tinker with the settings and make a unique challenge for yourself. There are global leaderboards to compare your score with others, and currently, I'm the world champion. I'm also employee of the month. Unfortunately, it is single player only. As of review, the demo is available for download with the full release expected to come on January 11th, 2023. You might look at this game and think that it's a clone of other games like Surround Dead, Dead Poly, or Horde Survival. Although this game does use a licensable asset pack for most of its art and models, the gameplay is much different. The weapon play feels good, the pace is very fast and action-packed, and it's not a survival game, it's more of an FPS. After all, it's a one-man show over at Hangry Owl Games, so who can blame the guy for recycling some art? The game looks great and plays very well. I didn't encounter any bugs at all during my playthrough, and the game will not be releasing into early access. It's touted as being feature complete right now. If you'd like to see more, join me for a few minutes of live gameplay, and I'll show you why I think this game is worth a buy. Okay, so here we are. This is our humble abode right here. This is where we live, I guess. So after you complete the story, you'll wind up here. So, spoiler alert, I guess. Anyway, this is like your base of operations. Here's all the weapons. Here's all the throwables. Here's all the attachments for your weapons. And uh, there's some like extra backpacks you can pick up and uh, you can reset your loadouts and stuff. I don't know, I haven't really fully explored in here. But anyway, here's the map. You're gonna start over here and you're gonna make your way through all these levels and you'll wind up here at the very end. And that's where we're gonna go. Whoops, that's the wrong button. <laughs> here we go, okay, so yeah. Okay, so you can choose from endless mode or story mode and, oh, I just saw my dog run around out here. Hey, buddy, what's up, man? Oh, man, he looks good, man. The animation's done very well and everything. Nice. Okay, sorry, I'm a dog owner, so I get sidetracked by dogs quite easily. Okay, so we can change all of this stuff. You can customize your rules and stuff like that. One gun, four guns, zombies have better health, turn the drones off, whatever the case may be. I'm gonna show you the story mode. We're gonna jump in on normal difficulty. So someone probably took a lot of time to like write out this story and I didn't read any of it. So you might wanna take a minute to figure out what's going on here. Okay, hopefully I have some relatively good guns because I didn't even pay attention to that. All right, so here's the idea. You have to defend your RV, your dog and your wife are inside there and you've got to protect them. If you're looking at the top left corner at the mini map, you can see the orange area area which is where you cannot build and the green area is where you can build you put anything you want out there the white lines are the lines that the zombies are going to take to get to you and the little red square that's moving around here that's where i'm building and you can see if i put down a barricade it's going to shift the zombie pathing alternatively if i get this machine gun out here it shows me the area of effect or the like the range of the weapon so you can make sure that you have good coverage that way on the top you can see my score and on the right side there you can see what wave we're on and how many waves there are on this map so we have 20 waves to get through today on the bottom left corner you can see my wanted level which is zero through five stars currently it's at zero you'll get more stars and more wanted level for shooting down the drones that are currently flying around here they're gonna suck up your money if they get a chance back to the bottom left you can see how much money is in my pocket on the top 
you can carry a maximum of $1,000. And on the bottom, you can see how much money is in my bank account, which is, you know, I can spend that just as well, but there's no limit to how much can be in there. So when you go around and you pick up money, it goes into your pocket and then you can deposit it into this ATM and then it goes into your bank account. But you, there's like a conversion rate. So you lose some of it in the process of doing that. Okay, so we'll get into more of the game mechanics in a little bit. I'm gonna start off with construction here and I would like to maybe build like one of everything here today. But the way I usually start is with four machine guns. I like to start nice and heavy. So I'm gonna put four MGs kind of like right in the corners here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make like a snaking pathway for the zombies so that we can shoot them for longer before they get up to the RV here. All right, so I think we're ready. We hit the RV and we are live. So I'm gonna roll with the grenade launcher. If I hit alt, it's gonna change to an air burst grenade. I've got the P90 here, and if I hit Alt, it's gonna go to lead round nose round, I guess. Oh, we also have some snipers that are helping us. This is just exclusive to this mission, though. I didn't see any other mission that had this kind of stuff. And the last thing we've got is this 50 cal, which is pretty nice. Okay, we gotta go get this money here, because uh, if we don't get it, someone else will. And they're already stealing from me. We'll shoot a couple down. I usually try to shoot down one per round or so. You can't shoot them down too often because it'll call in like a police drone and it's just not something you really want to deal with early on. So the green like silencer looking thing is my one of my attachments. If I hit the C button, it turns it on. Whoop, we're gonna go back into build mode. But you can uh, use that attachment to shoot money like far away and like it just brings it directly back to you. Okay, so we got a little bit of money there. We gotta start thinking about how we're gonna sort of funnel the zombies in here. Just gonna keep it real simple at first here. Barricade going straight across and we're broke. Right, so this won't do any damage to zombies. You get like that green bullet, but it will pull in the money. So if you just wanted to kind of like sit back and snipe, in fact, we could just do that for a second. That's an explosive zombie and he dropped some money. I hit the C button and it brought all the money right back to me. So if you're gonna snipe, you just have to kind of toggle back and forth. The one thing you'll find out early on is the turrets don't do much. You have to upgrade them. So when you're in build mode, you can upgrade all of your defenses. So personally, my style here is I like to do just run and gun a lot. I like to run around and collect the money up. And it's, um, it's an easy way to kind of kite the zombies around and keep them away. So if you kind of get close to them, they'll kind of peel off and start going after you. These green ones here are like ghost zombies. They're invisible to your defenses. So you have to shoot them to like disable their invisibility. All right, let's see if I can gun one of these down. Let's see if he has any money in him. Okay, little bit of money. He had like $40. Not really worth it, but you know, you got to do it once in a while anyway. Okay, so at this stage, so that you have to have a two block opening for the zombies to get through. So you, you can see it won't let me build the barricade there. So we're going to do like a snaking pattern here like this. So in this corner over here, I'm going to put a couple of nail guns. Nail guns are different from the machine guns I'm using. These are just like regular turrets. They're the proximity turrets. These just shoot in a straight line. So when the sensor is triggered, it'll just start shooting nails linearly in one direction. It'll make more sense when we get the whole base built here. So one of the best things I like about this game, and it's it's kind of it's it's more of a technical thing. Like I play a lot of Seven Days to Die, and when you reload, it's like the same reload no matter how many bullets are left. But if I do a regular reload right now, it just puts a new mag in because there's there's already a round chambered, right? But if I waste every single bullet here, he's going to do the reload and then he's going to rack a new round in. It's just like, it's that little touches like that. Whoa, watch out for the fire axe thrower. Little touches like that really add to the, the immersion and the experience of the game. Oh, yep, they just stole up the, the last of my money there. There, shoot him down. Uh, yeah, I still, I still collected it. There we go. Right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend all of our money to kind of string this across, and, um, yes. We could do another two nail guns kind of going in this direction as, like, uh, a last resort. I think I'll do that. We gotta leave a two-block opening. So if I put a block right here, like that, 
then um, the zombies can't go through the corner there, so that, that's that's blocked off just fine. You don't have to put anything in that corner there. We have plenty of waves to collect money and kind of flesh out the defenses here. Eventually, we're going to start getting the monsters, too. The monsters make it really, really difficult. Of course, this is like the last level, so you're going to have a lot of all the monsters, basically, to fight here. Man, those fire axe throwers are pretty brutal. Look out! It might look easy to dodge him right now, but when things get really hectic... Oh, there's a first boss right there! Yes, sir! Come back here! So those guys, you want to try to aim right in, like, the, the little, you know, uh, vision slot there. And you can get headshots on them. They're, those little leprechaun things, those are the ones that steal your money. So you gotta watch out for them. You know what works good on these guys is the air burst. Not in the shield, though. You gotta get the air burst and you gotta hit them right in the back. There we go. All right, back to construction here. We're gonna do nail guns, this time facing this direction. And once I get, basically I usually start with the four machine guns and then I kind of, then I use my money for barricades and I get sort of like a, a funnel to kind of work the zombies in where I want them. You want to just kind of disrupt their pathing. You don't want them to run directly into your RV. Kind of a recipe for disaster. Plus, once we get like a nice lane here, we can start putting like barbed wire and bombs and stuff in there. Okay, yep, Leprechaun there, and we got some big mamas here. Headshots matter here, too. You gotta go for the headshots, always. There we go. Go and shoot one of these guys down and get some of my money back. Ooh, a whole bunch of it, nice. Okay, I've got a ton of money now, so what I'm gonna start doing, I'm gonna put a flamethrower turret right here, right on the edge, so that the zombies, you can see, like, the uh, their pathing line, right? So you want the uh, the turrets to get as many of the pathing lines through them as possible. Just, like, simple overlapping fields of fire kind of stuff. Then I'm gonna take some barbed wire, and I'm gonna kind of lay it in the back here, because this is kind of, like, the last resort. You know, we want to pin the zombies back here as much as possible, because... We've got all of our machine guns back here, so we'll make it difficult for them to get back that far. And the rest of my money I think I'll save for the next round. One strategy you can use is to kind of like weaken the big guys and then kind of let them die up here so you can get the money more easily. Oh, it's got a fire axe in the forehead. Ow. Yep, so now that they're close by, I can more easily get the money out of them. So this is what the airburst usually does. See how it kind of like blast downward onto him. Like, that's a good tactic, but um, if you get a direct hit with the air burst, it also does a ton of damage, especially on these guys right here. Look at that. Half of his health right there. There we go. Kill. And that's it. Hey, would you... you mind not stealing all my freaking money? Please? Thank you. Okay, so half the reason that I want to... Oh, look at the money. No, 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 no. Stop stealing it. Crap. <laughs> right. So, um, yeah, half the reason I want to, like, weaken the big zombies and have them die over here is because I'm going to put the ATM here. And that way I can start depositing my money in there. But also, this will collect money. And um, I can increase its range for collecting as well. Spend some money to upgrade it. And uh, now that we have kind of the basic outline, I'll also start spending money on the turrets back here. So you just kind of, like, look at it, left-click it, and you can sort of see all the upgrades that you can get. I think I like um, increasing the attacks per second first, mostly because it just sounds cooler to have a higher rate of fire, but also probably just does a little bit more damage that way. So we'll get these all fully upgraded eventually. Let's hit it and fight the next wave. All right, there we go. See the money? It goes directly into your ATM. So at this point, we just kind of want to... We want them to come up into the trap, right? We want them to die inside the trap. And then as long as your ATM's doing the work for you, you can just kind of sit here and airburst over the top of them. Oh, look at that. Took out Big Baba one shot. And that's it. All right, let's go with a fan on this round. We'll replace this with a fan. And that will slow down the zombies as they're kind of walking up in here. Let's see how that performs. Oh, I should also note that um, the zombies can't destroy any of your defenses or barricades or anything like that. They are permanent. Okay, everyone is sufficiently weakened for my liking. Let them come. I'll focus on this guy over here. Okay, appears to be working. Air burst. Nice. Okay, they're starting to break through, though. Nothing I can't handle here. And that's it. No, you can give me that back, please. Thank you. Okay, now's probably a good time to get the mortar in place. Let's put the mortar... 
right over here. And then once you put the mortar down, you'll get like a target area. And basically if anything goes within this bubble, the mortar will set like a, a round off to, to, to hurt them. So how about right about in this spot right here? Now it's worth noting that the mortar will do damage to cash currently at 40%, but we can upgrade that so it does less damage. Man, you should have seen it. I did like some recording, like, you know, my first impressions when I first loaded the game up and I was terrible. It actually took me a few hours to kind of learn the ropes and I just figured I could probably put together a much more coherent episode if I actually played this for a few hours and then did a video. Yes, yes, come right into my trap, please, and then die. And put the cash in the ATM. Oh, I love it. it. Works good. Oh, nice. Oh, the grenade launcher. It's got to be my favorite. Oh, the slime. Right. Yes. So the slime, certain zombies can like deposit slime and that disables your defense. So you have to pay attention and undo that when you can and shoot down some of the drones once in a while. Get my money back, please. Okay. At this point, we've made some really good money. Let's get a missile launcher and we'll put that on this side. Missile launcher is a lot like the mortar, only it just it targets things better. It's not kind of like lobbing them the the rounds in one spot. See that guy right there? That is a super slime monster thing, and when he blows up, he puts slime everywhere, and it can really hurt you too. I'm kind of keen on just not having him next to my base, even though I might lose a little bit of money in the process. And uh, those big mama things, their little bag is filled with body parts. I think what she's doing is she's feeding other zombies. She puts like some stuff on the ground. Ooh, axe in my face. Ow. I, I think that heals up other zombies. I'm not 100% sure on that though. So if, if you figured that out, definitely leave me a comment so I know. Okay, there we go. One of them blue. Watch out for the goop. Don't touch the goop. And take the goop off of the weapons, please. Okay, we got a lot of company up here and I'm getting axed in the face again. Okay, here we go. Let them have it. Oh yeah, I got slimed. Ow. Gotta be careful. If you die or if the um if the RV dies, it's game over. Start over from scratch. There we go. We made it. Get out of here. What are you doing out here? Wow, I got a lot of money on that one. Okay, so what I'd like to do for this one is get started on the Tesla. So I need to destroy a couple things. Let's do let's get rid of this one here put one Tesla there and then get, get rid of that one and put a Tesla there and that should stun the zombies and shock them and damage them as they come through it and with the remainder of my money it's time to probably start upgrading things let's upgrade the um, ATM first because uh, that kind of pays for itself over time and let's hit it yep don't mind me just kind of out here trying to collect up some money there we go yeah these shield guys they are pretty good at keeping the shield toward you. Oh, Leprechaun stealing my money. Get out of here. Yeah, I got slimed. Yeah, yuck. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna put down is Bertha. And I'm gonna put Bertha right about there. Basically, that just does like a lot of damage to anything standing in front of it. So as the zombies are kind of rolling up here, I'm gonna give them a Bertha right in the face. And then yet again, just gonna do some upgrades here on the ATM. And let's hit it. The thing about Bertha is that it's manual discharge only, so I gotta run over there and do it. Or, or try to remember to, at least. There we go. I don't think it really did anything. I'm not very good with Bertha. It's like a delayed release. Okay, the other thing I can do, I have a special attachment, and... Oh! I almost died there. If I hit Y, then it kind of like it gathers all the money up on the map, and I lose a good chunk of it, but at least I get some of it, right? So in that last couple seconds, I like to hit that. That's like the closest I've ever come to dying without actually dying. Okay, what are we gonna work on next here? How about a respawn point? So if we die, we can just run right back in. There we go. And you could also do a wardrobe. Let's do that. And uh, let's change our weapon. Never actually did use this in my playthrough. I think you probably have to do it live. So we'll have to do that before we kick things off. And we could use a sniper tower. Let's do that right next to Bertha here. And that's it. Let's hit it. I don't know. Bertha doesn't seem like it's uh, doing very much damage. I would be honest with you. I didn't. I, I built it once and then I didn't use it and then I didn't build it anymore after that. It might just be like a little bit of nuance to how it works. Okay. Come on, Bertha. Don't let me down. You let me down. Damn it. 
Oh, these air bursts, though, they are so deadly. Okay, that's it for money. Let's just take him down if we can. Get a little bit, or maybe a lot of bit more. Wow, that's, that was quite a bit. Okay, I think we've built one of everything. I'm just going to start lacing this with barbed wire again. I'll put a landmine there. I'm going to put some C4 over here. And then once you put the C4 down, there's going to be a trigger. So let's put the trigger over here. I'll set a couple claymores down. You can kind of rotate these depending on what you want to do. I will set uh, an oil barrel down or three or four maybe. <laughs> Why not? And we'll do a Molotov right there. I don't know, bear trap maybe? Never used that one before. And there's like a nitrogen barrel. You can put that down. That'll kind of like freeze everyone in the area. Man, there's all kinds of traps in here now. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. And with the money left over, I'm gonna do upgrades. One of the things I love upgrading is the mortar. Cause look, you can like double the damage just like that. Boom, 500 bucks, done. Let's do this. Okay, I think most of these things are just like, you shoot it and it blows up. So I'll just kind of like, Reserve it for when I accidentally shoot it. <laughs> it will just have a pleasant surprise there. Oh, that was the Molotov there. Nice. Oh, look at the monsters coming in here now. Oh, boy. They are not standing a chance, really. That guy's still pretty strong, though. Just take him out, please. Oh, I walked right in the slime. Damn it. Oh, look at the slime monsters coming in here. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm getting super slimed. Not good. Also, okay, we're done. I'm still getting slimed, though. Yes, don't die, please. Okay, it's okay. All the slime will wear off eventually. Okay, I've laid in the barbed wire. Let's focus on upgrading the cash per second on the ATM. And that's pretty much all we can do. Let's just focus on a nail gun. <laughs> Get a nail gun upgraded a little bit. And let's try wave number 15 now. That was a pretty easy wave. Man, I am... Filthy rich right now. I love it. Okay, the ATM is fully maxed out. It's just a matter of fully upgrading everything else at this point. Doesn't really matter the progression, I don't think. Just upgrade everything. Got a lot of nerve coming straight up here like that. Okay, this is like a really heavy wave here. <laughs> no pun intended. Oh, Bertha, come on. It's right in front of you. Fire! That did nothing. Yep, it's okay, it's okay. They're getting really, really close here, but it's gonna be okay. I got slimed. Oh, but the mission's over, the wave. No, stop that. Oh, I had too much money on me anyway, so even though the guy was full of money, I lost it all. Wow, look at the monsters coming in here now. This is crazy. Oh boy. Okay, we gotta unslime our stuff. Not good. Also, just need to focus on killing people right now. Nothing fancy here, just shoot him in the face. Okay, hiding on the RV. The only thing I know how to do right now. And uh, can I just get a good air burst on him? There we go. Okay, all of them are down. I need to deposit money. Deposit, deposit, deposit. And oh, I was gonna try to shoot one down. They are loaded with money right now. Well, anyway, we have plenty of money to do upgrades. Okay, all the machine guns are fully upgraded. Let's spend the rest of our money on the missile launcher. Down to three bucks. <laughs> all right, let's go. What is this? Wave number 18, we got three to go. All right, here comes the slime monsters. Also, I forgot to put barbed wire down again. Oh, crap. All right, I just wanna focus on shooting that guy down and getting all the good money out of him. And then hit Y and try to suck in the rest. I don't think I got it. Okay, the flamethrower is maxed out. The machine guns are maxed out. Can I do the, the blower thing real quick? Sure, let's uh, max that out. And then we can probably do the mortar and the missile launcher last. Two more waves. How much money do you have? None. What about the other one? You guys wanna watch out. I wanna call in that police drone before this is all over with. Take him out. Okay, things are getting a little bit hectic here now. I'm slimed. I'm bleeding a little bit. Okay, that's it. Oh, the copper is after us. Whoa, missiles. Oh, man. <laughs> He'll give up as soon as the round is over. Oh, there we go. That was close. I almost took him out, though. All right, it's the last wave, and I think we should focus on probably the most powerful defense that we have, and that is the missile launcher. It's also the most expensive to upgrade, though. So I'm going to spend $2,000 into it. It leaves me with $249. 
I guess with the rest, we'll just fill in the barbed wire. Yep, that's it. I should also mention that my grenades, I haven't really been using them, but they do cost money to use. All of your consumables do. So it's like $10 for a regular grenade and, you know, prices vary from there. Whoa, there's the big monster there. Let's get a good look at her. Ooh, the behemoth. She'll probably basically focus on the other monsters and we'll handle her last. Quite the war zone here. I need some money. I need some money so that I can use consumables. Here we go. Got a little bit of cash. And if I hit B, I, I'm using decoy grenades right now. So we're going to throw a couple of decoys out there and see if the zombies will kind of go for them, maybe. You can see they're just like dancing holograms. They're not doing a whole lot, though. Yep, we did really well here. We just got to kill the monster. She's freaking prego, too. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 ow. Getting hurt really bad here. Okay, I'm thinking I should um, get a new loadout here. Here we go. All right, if we leave her this... Oh, she's got a baby, too. Jeez, killing babies. Oh, another one. My goodness, she's having triplets. Come on. We've almost got her. Yes. The rocket launcher with the kill. Nice. Wow. This is disgusting. Hey, how about that? Not quite as good as my first run there, but still not too bad. And with that, the story just punts you back to where we started here at the old ranch. There you have it, my friends. That is our first look at Gross. On our left here, I imagine we have Chris, who is the solo developer of this game. So shout out to Chris for making a really fun game all on his own. I wish him all the best in his future endeavors. Thank you very much, Chris, for providing me with a copy of this game. I myself highly recommend it. You can check it out on Steam on January 11th. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.